Well, you guys, I wasn't really planning on doing a video today, but since there was an update to the video I just did the other day about a Michigan teacher who's hit in the head by a metal chair, I thought, hey, might as well make a video about the update. And fortunately, the update is actually good news, which is nice to see for once. And today's word of the day is accountability. Oddly, something you don't actually see very often, so we're going to take our wins where we can take our wins. So our update comes from our good friends at the Post Millennial. Michigan high school student charged with felony over viral video of her knocking teacher out with metal chair. The teacher was taken to the hospital and was reportedly released by Friday evening. So good news, teacher didn't have to stay in the hospital for too long and we're actually going to see some justice. At least I hope so because just saying a felony is being charged doesn't mean that's how it's going to play out in the end. But you know wishful thinking. A 15-year-old girl who was seen in a now viral video throwing a chair at her teacher was arrested and is being charged with two counts of felony assault from the incident, which took place at Southwestern Academy in Flint, Michigan on Thursday. The video shows two students arguing when one picks up a chair and throws it, hitting the teacher in the back of the head as she instantly falls to the floor. The video cuts out shortly after. And I will go ahead and play the edited video for you guys now. Now, the reason why I had to edit the video so much is because when I initially posted my last video, it got age-gated, even though I had the video edited there as well. So I had to make the blur much bigger, and I had to cut it off right before the chair hit the teacher in the head. So don't blame me. This is just YouTube being YouTube and uh, forcing my hand to be a little bit more creative in my edits. Flint Police Chief Terrence Green told ABC 12 that when the school resource officer showed up to break up the fight between the students, he found the teacher lying on the ground. Both students were arrested in the aftermath, and the the prosecutor David Layton decided to press felony charges on the girls who threw the chair. The teacher was taken to the hospital and was reportedly released by Friday evening. The Flint Community School said she is doing well and is planning to return to work. I am relieved to report that the teacher involved in the incident is doing well and was released from the hospital the same day, Superintendent Cavellan Jones said in a statement. In another statement, Jones made it clear that the students involved would be held accountable according to the law and in accordance with the Flint Community School Student Code of conduct. He added that the school is committed to providing necessary support and resources to help scholars and staff cope with the emotions or psychological effects stemming from this incident. According to the Public School Review, Flint Classical Academy is ranked in the bottom 50% in school performance with a graduation rate between 65 and 69%. The report notes that the students achieving proficiency in math and reading is less than 20%. Good God, that is actually terrible. Imagine using words like scholars to describe your very failing students on top of calling your school an academy. Honestly, I would find that to be pretty damn embarrassing. Hey, come here. Get a little closer. Homeschool your children. Of course, like I've said before, if you can. But you guys, that is the update to the story. Are you satisfied? Are you dissatisfied? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. And as always, do not forget to hit the like or the dislike button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you hopefully get notified when I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.